just another photograph from Apollo 14 here we're looking at just amazing the amount of junk that's in here and it doesn't matter where you look you can just look at any of these images here and see that it's just a pile of junk there's stuff sticking out there's bars sticking across the top there's all kinds of rings coming out of here that looks like there's a cowbell inside of this one definitely a junkyard with large mechanical equipment in it these are not formed by any kind of natural means these are just sprayed over pieces of junk you can see the pieces of equipment look at this piece of metal sticking out of here with the big Y on it down here it's got a nice little divider between them and this is supposed to be on the moon you've got to be joking look at that beautiful piece of tire sitting up there it looks like a beetle that's been shot created yeah sitting up on its side and then of course you got this beautiful little painted nose cone on it uh, it looks like a robot head or something like that too and then of course you come over to here and you've got another vehicle on its side quite obviously on its side it's got a license plate there it's got some kind of a strap coming down here underneath it there's a nice round tire it looks like a continental kit on a car there's the football yeah got the stripe on it and everything else we both played with those when we were kids yeah make perfect spirals with them all the time right practice making your spirals with those things just look at all of the stuff that's on the side of this thing that didn't get covered over there's so much stuff here that you just walk right over everything else let's have a really close look at the American flag this photographs from March to the moon and we'll just start right in here on this nice little blue piece here we're gonna have a nice close look to see that this is an official flag the red and white is nylon the blue is model and the stars are either hemp or they're in jute I think these ones are jute and of course they're hand stitched on you can see that they're puffed out they're raised on it and the reason for having the three different materials on the flag is so that when you burn these things the stars are the last ones to burn up there. there's a problem with this though this flag would not burn very well because it's soaked it's absolutely soaking wet everywhere and you can see that I mean you can see where it's dry here and it's soaking wet here you can either see water droplets here coming down on it yet so it may have still been raining a little bit but of course being US promotion of their power they're gonna have their flag and they don't care if it's on fire soaking wet or whatever they're gonna take a picture of it now here's something to think about if every one of those darker stripes where it's all soak or damp if that was meant to be there, then all of those stars would be dead center of it, and it's not. And it's a two-color blue, and you can see here, if you look at this star, then this star, this star, and this star, where that's running. It's drying off in the sunlight from where they're folded. It's absolutely soaking wet in here, just darker and dark right there. That's a shadow, that's wet, and this piece is dry. And I think the reason why is because the stars are going to hold the water longer. So it's going to stay wet longer. And that's why it's drying from the outside in. Here's each of the lines where it was folded up against this pole. They don't extend the far out. The nylon stretches out more, but this material is holding that form. There's the folds down there, and then it goes to there and then folds across. So it was, it was actually folded in an official manner as well. But you can actually see it's all wet up through here. Even in the white and the red, you can see it's quite discolored right here from the water on it. It's harder to see on the white, but that's all wet in there as well. And you can see that's much drier. And if anybody says that those are just shadows or this is the way they come out, I've seen people make all kinds of comment. The thing is, is this flag is soaking wet. It was a nice staged event rain nicely at Flagstaff. They have done everything under the sun to try and cover the, of course they can't. They can't 
remove this photograph because this photograph does not just exist digitally. It's on walls in museums, it's in hardback magazines or books and magazines and everything else for the last 50 plus years. There's no way that they can do that. Everybody can see it. They can argue about it all day long. This is probably the shiniest example of faking that you've ever seen in your life and I don't know how they had the balls to actually look at this photograph and not see it. And of course, in the last 50 years, nobody has seen that this flag is wet. That's a shocker. It's interesting where the dampness is located, that it's around every one of those stars. Oh yeah, because that uh, material uh, thick is just going to hold the moisture longer, right? They'll be absolutely soaking wet. You can't see that there's one that isn't, one that's dry, they're all wet. They'll just be holding the moisture. The nylon would, would uh, evaporate quicker, okay? The model is holding the water more and drying back from the edges. Of course, it gets darker as you come down because the water's by gravity going to come down, right? But these water spots up here, still dropping. It still might have been just raining a little bit while they were still shooting this. This is another photograph from March to the Moon of the flag, and it is even more wet. You can see when the photograph was taken earlier, this has got more water because it's drying, and like it's wet right out to almost the full edge on it. But that's not the main part of this photograph. This photograph, we're gonna have to take a look at the, the astronaut himself. As you can see here, this part of the suit here is very, very dry. It's got a little bit of wet there. This is absolutely soaking wet all along here. Yeah. It's drying, yeah, it's, it is, it's wet and it's drying from the edge in. Yeah, well, the thing is, is he was covered in mud and we're gonna take a look at that. This is 134, 20384 HR JPEG. This particular photograph is coming from March to the Moon. And you can see that it's all wet down here. It's wet through there. You can see all the water here. There's a little bit of dirt here. You can even see that the cue cards are wet. Not dirt, it's wet. And the gloves are wet. And then we're going to take a look at why it's wet. Here's 20. 382, two photographs before, and there's the astronaut. He is just covered in mud. Even his gloves are covered in mud. All of this. They had to wash all of this mud off of him, and that's why it's wet in the other photograph. Even up on his shoulders. There, right over top of the flag. There's a wet spot on it. But when you get to in the series, and you've got mud all over an astronaut like that, then you go to the next picture, up on his shoulder, here, here, just covered, his gloves are covered, the front of him of his boots are absolutely soaking wet. That's wet mud, it's not just regular mud. Then you take the next picture and of course you got a wet flag, and then all the mud's gone. The commander has the red stripe, and this is Jack Smith or Harrison Smith, and he's got the mud removed from his suit, and everything is soaking wet. We'll start at 2377. That's them doing shots around the flag. This is Cernan. He's the commander, red stripes. That's the next shot of him saluting the flag. And you can see he's got a fair bit of mud on him down on his boots and everything else. And he's already got mud up here and he's got a little mud there. They've just been playing in the mud. His gloves, they, they've been picking it up. His gloves are absolutely black with mud. Comes up, touches the flag, and you can just, you can see how dark his gloves are because they're just covered in mud. He's been putting mud on top of Harrison Smith. And they're, of course, saluting the flag one more time. And then here's Smith. He is absolutely covered in mud. It's not dust sticking to them. This is wet mud. Look at even the ground. Absolutely saturated. And then of course, back, flag's wet, they're wet, the ground's wet. And if you take a look at this photograph, right from March to the moon, you can see it's all dry here. The mud's been removed from here. You can see where it's wet and dry right along there. You can see where it's all wet here. You can see where they got the cue cards wet and the glove is wet. 
And of course, you come over to the flag, and it's the same way, soaking wet, all the way through. But the biggest part is, is him. That is unbelievable. These guys were just messing around. You can imagine that they were very hard to control. You couldn't stop them. You couldn't tell them no. You couldn't do anything. They're just out there having fun. And that's all they were ever doing on the set. 